Say you found a couple of long tubes and you want to splice them together to make a long rocket. Well, to do that you're going to need a tube coupler. And if you don't have one, I'm going to show you in this video how you can make one. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off a length of tube. The length is approximately two times the diameter of the tube. Now I showed you how to cut off a tube uh, in a previous video. So if you go to the ApogeeRockets.com website and go to the Downloads menu, you'll find our videos. And in those videos you'll find the technique for cutting body tubes. So once you have your body tube cut off, we need to slice it open. We need to make a cut down one end. So I'm going to use my aluminum angle like we always do. And I'm going to take my hobby knife and I'm going to just draw it across the tube. Now when you do this, try not to uh, bounce the tube because you're flexing it and you're, going to, you're not going to get a very straight cut. Finish it up here since I've already got it scored. It's easier to see what I'm doing. Okay. Now we're going to take a, a tube that's not been cut yet and we're going to slide this inside like that. And then we want to spread it open. See, I got it most of the way in. And then spread it open as far as we can. And you're going to take a pencil and you're going to mark the tube how much it is overlapped. You can see here, here's our overlap on the tube. And now we want to put it on the outside of the tube like that. And the reason is because uh, we need to draw a nice straight line down the tube. And um, it's going to be hard to do that because right now the tube is kind of wobbly. So I'm going to tape it down so that it doesn't move. You can see here's my mark. And I'll just draw that down the tube like that. And that's how much I need to cut off. Okay, I'm going to take that up. Now cutting this is a little hard to do because the tube is already kind of wobbly. Uh, what really helps is to have a table with an overlap. And I don't have one, so I kind of built one here for you. So if you have a table with an overlap, you can put the tube on the table like that, and you can press it down with your fingers now. And now you can take your knife, uh, your, your knife and a ruler, and line it up pretty good here. And then we can cut it off and we'll get a nice straight cut. Okay. Now I, on purpose, I cut off way too much. But that's okay because I'm going to show you how we can fix that. So, take that tube again and we're going to glue the piece that we just cut off, we're going to glue it underneath. We're going to splice it together. But first, we only want to do one side. So I'm going to take my bottle of glue. I'm going to have to have a napkin here because we're going to have a little excess here. Actually, I want to put it on the inside, the inside lip of the tube. see that's way too much glue so I'm gonna take my finger and spread it around I'm gonna take about 90% of that off so I just have a thin film of glue on that edge and then I'm gonna take my little piece here and I'll splice that on I want to do about halfway on like 
like that. Okay. And if you used just a little bit of glue, um, it should it should grab by itself and hold. Okay, so now I'm going to let this dry completely before I I try to splice it together because if we try to splice it together now, we're going to knock it off because the glue is still wet. Okay, and through the magic of video, I have a piece that's already glued and completely dry, as you can see. Now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to put glue on the inside. And I'm going to again spread it with my finger. If you get glue on the outside like I did here, just go ahead and wipe that off. We don't want any glue on the outside because our next step is we're going to put it into the tube. If there's any glue on there, on the outside, it's going to stick into the tube. And why are we putting it together? Because we want to make a nice fit. And, and if we had a tube that we cut off too much, then when we, when we splice it back together, we'll get the correct amount of overlap. So again, I'm pushing it in almost all the way into the tube. And then I'm taking my fingers and I'm just looking down in there, making sure that it's not overlapped on the inside. And make sure your, your edge here, the ends, are even. And you can kind of pull outward with your fingers to kind of stretch it so we get a nice, a nice snug fit there. And then we're going to allow that to dry. And then when we're done, you can pull that out. Oh, the other thing that you want to do is uh, rotate it around. Why rotate it around? Because if there was any glue on there, by rotating it around we're breaking that bond so that this coupler doesn't stick to it. Okay. So when it's dry, it should slide easily into the tube and the other end will sli slide easily into another tube. Look at that, a perfect fit. So that's how you can make your own tube coupler. It doesn't cost you a lot of money, a little bit of work, but you can do it. I'm sure you can. Uh, my name is Tim Van Milligan. I'm from Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com. Come visit us. Let us know how we're doing.